Hi there, stampers and crafters. I'm Tammy White from stampwithtammy.com, and I'm really excited. Today is Paper Pumpkin Day. <laughs> my Paper Pumpkin card making kit just came in the mail from Stampin' Up. It is my favorite time of the month. I really love getting this box of sunshine in the mail every month, and this month it came when I really needed some stamp therapy. So this kit was just so awesome. I couldn't wait to open it. I opened it live on Periscope right away. <laughs> and I'll share some of that with you in a minute. And here's what I made because I couldn't wait to get stamping. I loved this kit so much that I went and created another full set of cards. I just couldn't stop. And there were so many cool things to make with this kit. So I'm gonna show you how to make both sets of these cards in just a minute. You're gonna die when you see how quick and easy it is to put these awesome cards together. And stay tuned to the end because I have a new giveaway. And if you're not familiar with Paper Pumpkin, it's an awesome monthly paper crafting kit put out from Stampin' Up. It's different every month. It's in my online store and you can sign up for one month. You can save money and sign up for three months. You can really save money with the special happening right now and sign up for six months. As long as you're signed up by the 10th of each month, you'll get that month's kit. And they're always awesome and like I said my favorite thing to get in the mailbox and do you love my new t-shirt in case you were wondering my demonstrator team is the stamp it group I am a proud mama of a family of a few hundred Stampin' Up demonstrators and a group of us are going to the Stampin' Up on stage event in Salt Lake City in April it's the new convention and we're all excited so we had these t-shirts made I think it's my new favorite t-shirt all right, enough about the shirt. Let's get stamping. Here we do. Woohoo, we're here. I'm here with Noah, and Noah's holding the box. Oh my God, I'm so excited. He's going to open it with me, but he um, promises he's not going to do too much damage with the big knife that he just pulled out of the kitchen <laughs> to open it with. I'm so excited. I cannot wait to see what's in this box. So, spoiler alert, if you don't want to see what's inside the paper pumpkin box, click off right now. All right, Noah, you ready? Okay, he's put the knife aside. Here it comes. Here it comes. Oh, oh, it's Blackberry Bliss. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I can't find my Blackberry Bliss ink pad in case you didn't catch that on my last video. <laughs> I'm such a dope. I have no idea where I put that. But, oh, okay. All right, I know you guys are all excited. So here's the little welcome card. Thank, thank you. Yada, yada, yada. That's great. Keep going, keep going. Thank you. Ah. Oh my gosh. Okay, so here's the stamp set. Look at the font. Oh, oh, this is so cool. This is great. It's an all occasion set. So you could use this for anything. These oh. All right. Ideas are already swimming in my head. Put that aside. Are you ready? Are you guys ready? Do you want me to keep going or do you want me to slow down? Am I going too fast for you? <laughs> They're like, rip it open. Oh, here it comes. All right, Noah, we're gonna need your knife again. Look at these cards. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, so it's called Hello Sunshine. This is the February Paper Pumpkin Kit. Okay, you ready, Noah? Now, mm -hmm. now you're on and I'm moving my hands out of the way. Watch your hands, mister. Okay, oh, look at these. Okay, we've got gold and we've got, oh, these are so pretty. These little sequins, love it. Oh my gosh, look at these are printed envelopes. See, so these have little banners. These are just little pop out die cut banners. Oh, these are so pretty. These are dies, like die cut stickers. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Oh, awesome. Okay, so keep going, keep going. Sorry. <laughs> Here's some more. These are starfish. Moving on, look at, so these are, they're not just die cut. I'm gonna take a little piece out there just because it fell out. I'm gonna just pretend I meant to do that. But this right here, look at, look at that. And these, oh, they're gold foils. They're gold foil stick-ons. Oh, I'm definitely gonna need some refills of this. You know, after um, the kits are all out, whatever they have left, usually they will sell in my online store. If you're a Paper Pumpkin subscriber, you can get the refills for them. Those I'm definitely going to need. Those are so cool. Okay, so these are adhesives. They're funky looking adhesives, but the kit comes with everything you need, including the adhesives. So you can just take it with you on the go. Okay, so here is more. These are die cut banners. Lots and lots of banners. In fact, let's see. We've got two sheets of those. These are very thick. These are like cardstock. <gasps> okay, the cards are pre printed. So they fold up, and then your greeting would go on the, on the outside. 
in the inside, you know, for those of us who like to actually write in our cards. <laughs> Most of the time I just put a sticky note in there so someone can reuse it. Um, here's another design. So there's three of those. And then, oh, so there's more than eight in here. There's actually nine. Because then there's three of this. This reminds me of Gorgeous Grunge. Ooh, one of my favorite stamp sets. These are the instructions. And the kit includes the stamp set, the Blackberry Bliss, nine card bases and envelopes, and, the, and the, all the sticker sheets. I'll have the official video on how to make these cards on my Stamp with Tammy blog. In case you want to do them exactly as they came. You know me, I always like to do something a little different and I had so much fun with this that I actually made two completely different sets of cards. I'll also have pictures of these in a downloadable PDF on my blog as well. And you can get to that simply by going to this URL or clicking in the link in the description below. If you're on YouTube, just click right on this video. Uh Let's start with the black and gold cards. Oh, love these, love these. So easy to make, such a wow. We'll make this one right now. All these measurements are on my blog too, on the downloadable PDF. So we're gonna take one of these banners and one of the small banners. You can use the black stays on or the archival black. Just gonna stamp happy birthday or whatever the occasion. Such a great all occasion set. And the 2U on the small blue banner. Okay, how fun were these, right? They just peel right off and stick. So cool. I wish I just, I wish these were a thing. <laughs> I want to use them on everything. Put that down center top. And then had some fun with these punch outs. Take a leaf. <laughs> They're flowers, I know, but I'm calling them starfish because that's what they remind me of. And one of these little tangerine tangles. That's fun to say, tangerine tangle. I'm going to go ahead and assemble. I just used snail for these panels, or you could use the mini glue dots that came with it. And then some Stampin' Dimensionals on the back. Pop that up. Took a bone folder and just curled up the edges of the banner so it looks like it's kind of rolling up on us super fun dimensionals pop the banner down a little bit at an angle and snail or mini glue dots for the 2u banner and that kind of went in the center just underneath it but you just know i had to use these sequins because i love them so I'll just be attaching those with some mini glue dots. I'm just sticking them right to the dot. You can also use the mini glue dots that came in the kit and just sticking them right on the flowers. So very fun. See how quick and easy that was for an outside the box idea. And I did some of these other designs exactly the same way. I just used some of the different embellishments and stickers that came in this month's kit. Okay, you ready to see card set number two? Yeah, you are. Here they are. Card set number two actually uses the note cards that came in the kit. And I used some cardstock, some gold foil, and the greetings thinlets. I'm going to make this card of the batch. These two are made the same way, just different colors. So I took the note card that has the gorgeous grunge-ish background on it. From the stamp set, I'm taking these flowers. I put them all on one clear block together and the tangerine tango which is one of the matching colors from the kit we're going to use the same color cardstock too to really pull it together and then I just randomly stamp these around the card just to give it a little pop of color on top of the pool party just a layered fun look okay I've got two strips of tangerine tango and gold foil measurements are on the free pdf on my blog and these are the greetings thinlets. I'm gonna do thanks. Let's. Okay, we've got the Sizzix Big Shot die cut machine, multi-purpose cutting platform closed. This is the precision base plate, which we'll use in place of a cutting pad. Gold foil and our thinlet. Now this is the layer that I'm gonna actually use on the card. I'm, I'm just conserving cardstock by cutting the center that we're not gonna see out. One cutting pad on top and crank it through. We're going to put down this tangerine tango panel with some double-sided snail adhesive. Then we'll go ahead and attach that to the card. You can attach this with mini glue dots, snail, your adhesive of choice. I like to use snail because it's quick and easy, but sometimes it shows 
So I just pop it with this paper piercer anywhere that it's popping out. You could also use mini glue dots too. And then that just sticks down right in the center. How awesome is that? Right? So cool. I know you thought that was the coolest step, but I did forget one very cool step when I stuck this down too soon. So let me see if I can peel this up without ruining too much. Yes, yes, yes. Got it. Okay. We pretty much got most of that. All right. So I am going to do a little threading. Put some of our gold thread on the back here. Because I just think this is the coolest look. So this is some Stampin' Up! It's gold thread. And I'm literally just going to stick it right to this snail. And just loop it around. Not being too particular about it because it looks, the messier it is, the better it looks. So it kind of looks like that from the back. And then when you flip it around and put it on the card, it just looks so cool. Very, very fun look there. And I know what you're thinking. How can it get any cooler than this? Just wait. One more thing. Sequins. Gotta love them. Gotta have them. So... Just sticking those right to a mini glue dot and sticking some of those on our flowers. Just kind of random. I, I did do one other step on these and you can decide which one you like better. I just sponged the edges with some early espresso ink. So this one is unsponged and this one is sponged and they both awesome. I think the sponge really adds a little pow. What do you think? Let's go hear about that giveaway. Can you believe you can do all those cards in just a snap? Gotta love these kits. Speaking of, New giveaway announced right now is for this February Hello Sunshine Paper Pumpkin Kit. You can win it! And all you need to do is pop on over to my blog and leave a comment on this blog post simply by going to this URL or clicking in the link in the description below. That's it! And you'll be entered and you could win this! The drawing's going to be on March 12th. And if you're just watching this and it's beyond the deadline, don't worry. You can catch my current giveaway on my stampwithtammy.com blog simply by clicking on the specials tab. Be sure to sign up for my newsletter there too because I give away free bonus card tutorials every Tuesday. Thanks for joining me today.